All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to MZ Eternal with your pal, Super Turtle. Guys, I ran a post on Twitter the other day, and you guys voted for the Mystical Agriculture Tower, which is right behind me here. So we're going to be working on this guy today. There's an eagle somewhere. He's probably up there on that slime island. But anyway, that Enderman is having a bad time. So let's go ahead and talk about this thing. So I've started the bottom. And it looks pretty neat. I like it. I like it a lot. Um, we're just rocking a farming station here with an octatic capacitor upgrade. Um, hello. Skystone, come here, please. Police. Hello. Police. Thank you. And um, so, yeah, we're running this. So, it, the working area is all the way out to here. So, very simple, very neat, very cool. We're going to have to run power here somehow. And I think we're just going to run... Hmm, I don't know. I don't know how we're going to do this. But this is how we're going to do it. We're going to have four separate little quadrants here. Each of these will have their own um, seed type. So let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So seven by seven. So 49 different seeds rocking out. I believe that's the same size as this. What is that? Oh, this is a nine by nine. So it's a little smaller than this. But because we got into Thaumcraft, we're going to be making the growth uh, I can't spell growth we're gonna be making the growth thing I'm above this thing the lamp of growth um, you make that with farmcraft it helps things grow faster so that's what we're gonna do and I don't know if we're gonna keep these supporting beams here we might end up just knocking these out yeah I like that look a lot better thanks game this is so much fun I love just breaking the same block so many times okay so I might just leave it out like this I might I don't know. I, I would really like it if we had a look like this, but then that limits how much farmland we can have. But I think it looks really good. Uh, why did I do this to myself? I like this look a lot better. Then we can have glass out here, kind of out one. So this would kind of be inset. Or we could just have glass all the way out. Ah, it looks amazing. I hate it. But we're going to have eight different layers of these. So eight times, or actually nine. So nine times four, you know math, right? 45. Wait, no. That's nine times five. I can't math. Nine times four. I have forgotten math. Okay, math remembered. It's 36. Good lord. <laughs> I can't believe that just happened. Uh, but anyway, yeah, we're going to have 36 of these little chambers here. Uh, so we're going to have 48, uh, 48 seeds because of this guy right here. But I think it'll look pretty cool. Cool. Ghoul. Uh, one of these layers that we're going to have all tier five and fermium essence. Um, actually, we could probably even do tier six. Uh, but I'm pretty sure that'll be this bottom layer here, even though we don't really use Infermium all that much. Um, we do, we will definitely have the Thorium at the, at its own layer here, because this is how we get our power with our reactors there and up there. So we're going to have to have a full layer for that. Ooh, a voice crack. Do you guys hear that? It's like I'm going through puberty again. But anyway, uh, let me get started on this. Let's get this far departed. And place it like this. So it's going to be on the same layer as all of the thingamadoobs, thingamaboppers. Bop it like it's hot, right? Okay. So I'm going to do a time lapse of me doing these guys all the way up. And then we'll come around. We'll probably um, put the marble around it. And uh, I do think, though, that we need to make a few of these in here, the glowstone, so we have proper light in here. Because if we do F7, I do have these glowstone. That might be okay. Um, let's see here. Light level. Uh, you know, it doesn't really get low. I think we're good. Never mind. Um, so yeah, so I will do a, we'll do a little first person time lapse on this thing.
All right, guys, check it out. We have got this all completed. We're going to have to go ahead and go through and fix all of these to monitor the, mirror the bottom, not monitor the bottom. Uh, but these are good to go. These also help me build it a little quicker, um, believe it or not. So, yeah. So we're going to see about getting some stuff in here. Let's go up and grab our Maddox. Oop, come on, there we go. All right, so we got this guy here. Go ahead and get all the fertilized dirt out of our inventory, and then we'll head on back over. Cool beans. Okay, so with the fertilized dirt, we don't need to have any water around, which is awesome. We can just go ham on this. I wish it did a bigger area, though. Wait, can I shift and do a bigger area? Nope, can't shift and do a bigger area. Okay, so this has enough light level, fortunately. Uh, so let's go ahead and uh, what are the, what's the first thing we want to do down here? Um, let's see. I think we should make the bottom two the bulk. Uh, so we're going to start with the thorium seeds, and we're going to get a lot of them. So we can come up here, and we're going to get out of processing mode. Thorium. Let's look for the seeds. Here they are. Just a tier four. Very neat. Okay. And we'll craft up a few of these. Okay. And then... I'm also going to make this a recipe. Okay. So that way, we, if we need to have any more going, we can craft them up, which is cool. So let's come on down here. Go one... Two, three, four. Okay, so then we're going to come here. And we actually do have some thorium seeds already. So let's see 17, 18, or 27, 37, 47. So half a stack of these should not be too difficult. Why? Where did that crafting recipe go? Okay, so let's put these into our mass crafting, like we were talking about. So here, we don't really have to worry about ever crafting up some premium essence, which is good because we have the wither farm. Let's go ahead and throw this back in here. Some thorium seeds, so we need 32 of them. Just to get it started, get this farty parted. All right, guys, so let's see about getting these bad boys all set up. So we're going to try this out here. Now, the bottom one's going to be easy because we can go down as much as we need. Um, so we're going to be extracting out of here and inserting into here. This is our main chest here with all of our items coming through. So that's good, uh, but we need to go down here, and we need to figure out a way for this to work. Um... So let's see here. How do we hide this? Um, this is great news, guys. So I just left. I just went and checked out how Shaw had it set up, and he's actually. We don't need the water source, uh, so we can just have power, and we also don't even need this block here. It will go right into the Ender chest. So if we go like this, it should automatically export. We can put our flux point down here, like so. Set that to our power system there and give this thing an unbreakable hoe eventually and we are we're rocking or well, that's it that's all we need and so we can patch this guy up here and you won't see anything from the bottom it'll look like this this is how our setup is amazing i know right how oh, man turtle is so smart he's just he's the smartest turtle in the world man leonardo got nothing on him just kidding so i'm gonna do this for all of these guys uh, I probably should do this from the top so I can go up to the next one easier. But if we set these all to mine, we should be okay. All right, so each, each of these has power now. Let's go ahead and start plopping these guys down. So that way we can get all of these. This we can get this farty parted. No capacitor. That's okay. Don't worry. Be happy. So 
So we need to make an unbreakable hoe for each of these because it uses the durability to obviously harvest these guys. And we don't want that breaking because then we won't be getting any items. So cool thing is we already have this automated and so we can get that all set up. So I'm going to get some capacitors on auto crafting and stuff like that. And I'll be right back. Cool beans. So guys, we have all of the Supremium hose made up here. And boom. So we should be able to throw these into each of the our well, other way. Uh, each of the, the guys here. And we should be good to go. Now I'm pretty sure if we were to go like this, put that in there, it should actually hold this. Yes, we don't have to worry about that. Cool. Oh, that's awesome. So we just give this thing seeds. I totally forgot. We just give this thing seeds and we're good to go. So I do have a few capacitors here for these guys. Uh, the others have been made up. We're just going to put all of the hose in here. So that way, when we do get the capacitors, we just have to toss them in. This is awesome. Uh, this is going to mean some great, great, great resource gathering. And are we able to make osmium seeds, by the way? Um, I don't think so. Dang, Osmium is really difficult to get. I don't think we get it in the um, the beneath dimension with our uh, our quantum quarries. So we might have to look into another way of getting it, or just setting up another thing in the in the beneath, which would really suck. Uh, but I do have the rest of the um, seeds here. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to give our system these thorium seeds. Uh, it might be a good idea to get some more. Uh, I'll, I'll do all the other seeds off camera. Just want to do. Oh, look at this. We have nether star seeds. I totally forgot about that. Uh, but I do want to open up some things at the end of this video. So that'll be fun. Uh, capacitors. Let's grab. Oop. Here we go. So we have the 10 capacitators that we need. Capacitators. Tater salad. Boom. Oh, that's already got that. Just kidding. Boom, that needed one. Boom, that gets one. So all we have to do is put an ender chest on top of these and give these things seeds, and it's off to the races. Now, they're not going to be nearly as fast because we don't have the growth accelerators underneath them like we have over here with the thorium. So we're going to have to get the... We're actually, we could make the thorium. We could put growth accelerators underneath all of these, and we should be okay. Um, so let's go ahead. We'll evenly distribute this. Might have something to do with it being locked. Okay, yep. Yeah, so that's going to keep placing it. These are going to grow. These are going to get harvested. And then we're going to go ahead and do the same thing throughout all of these. I do have the ender chests here. I think we're going to need to make one more. I think we only made eight of these, unfortunately. So, but you guys want to see more of this. I got some comments about it in a few videos. So I'm going to do less cuts. I'm going to keep talking because I guess you guys want longer videos, which is cool by me, honestly. <clears throat> and we might have to go in and configure these to export out the top. I need to double check that. We can check it here. Configure I.O. Yep, we can push out the top. That is so amazing. I had no idea that we could do that before. So I'm very excited about that. So we're pushing out the top on that. Cool. So I'm going to go through and do that on all these, and we'll continue on. Okay, so we've got all these taken care of. Um... It would be very smart to convert all of these into, or to put a bunch of growth accelerators underneath these. I think it would be smart if we did a stack of the growth accelerators under each one of these blocks. That way we had enough power. I mean, that's not really the only one we need to worry about. Because uh, other, other than that, these guys should be perfectly fine. I need to do, I'm going to do this thing off camera underneath all of them because I want to put some uh, glowstone, painted glowstone under here just to make sure everything is lit. Uh, bright enough under here so that we can uh, keep growing at a good rate uh, but let's go ahead and we're going to craft up a bunch of infirmium seeds now we're going for tier six now that's a lot of flipping crafting but the cool thing is is that psychotic butcher has a whole bunch of seeds so we're going to see if he is going to be willing to split with them. Oh, he went to the monkey. Or the... the, 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 the uh, that thing, the mansion. Um, 
Let's see here. How many seeds you got, Butcher? How are you throwing them all away? Uh, I think he's throwing them all away. Shoot. Because I know he's doing wheat. Uh, He might be, actually. I don't know if he's still doing wheat. Oh, I love these. this setup he's got with these guys. I do think that there's a better looking alternative for powering them, but Butcher and I have talked about that. And it looks good. You don't have to worry about it. But it does take a bit of setup. And it has to deal with um, cables and stuff like that. It's just a little bit longer to set up, but it looks good in the end. We'll set one up here pretty soon. Um, so Butch doesn't have a whole lot of seeds, unfortunately. Is Cannon still on? She is. Oh, I'm not Oh, I'm not supposed to be here. So I guess her best bet would probably just to be to start like vein mining some stuff. What was that? Oh, it was probably something else. Um... To just kind of start vein mining. This is when that dragon was cheap. Oh, no, this was me. That was the dragon. Um, yeah, the dragon didn't get credit for that. that was, actually, it was a dragon, but it was me riding my dragon. Which is something I haven't done in a bit, because I'm really worried that the dragon doesn't work a whole lot. Cannon is not AFK. I don't know what she's doing. She might be looking for me. She was doing that that witchery stuff with Butcher. Or with Nergath. She got Nergath last episode. I don't, I don't remember if she got Butcher or not. But she's probably looking for me, so we got to be real careful. Trying to find a biome where there's a bunch of grass on the ground. Okay, so that method really sucked. So there's another method I just discovered. We can actually buy some seeds. Now they're a bit expensive. They cost a bit of emeralds, but I don't think we have that problem. So we're gonna go to the we're gonna get the market. We got one here. We're gonna get this guy back into our base. Um or it'd be a good spot. Maybe here. Hmm. Alright, what do you got? Seeds. Cool. So we got 64 seeds. We're actually gonna get a, a bunch more of that actually. Um I want quite a few seeds. Okay, so we've got, we got a few seeds going. Uh, we need to make some infirmium seeds now. Infurium. I keep calling them infirmium. It's infurium. Yeah, because I'm, I'm a bad guy. Okay, so to get these seeds, just need to do this. And then uses, tier two. Now, we are going to put these in bulk crafting. Uh, uses a tier 3. Uses a tier 4. Uses a tier 5. Uses a tier 6. All right. So, I do have all of the bulk crafting labeled. Uh, well, not really labeled, but these guys have them. So, we have a total of all of our four here. So, boom, 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 boom. This is actually going to take a while. I'm pretty sure this is the one that we need. This isn't, this isn't a good one. Okay, so let's see here. We're going to go... Inferium Tier 6. And let's see, so it's 48... Per thing, 48 times 4 is like 180. So we're going to have, we're going to make 200 of these. This is going to take a while. I'm going to go, while our system tries to compute this, I'm going to go to the bathroom and come back. I'll be back in a bit when this is ready, guys. Okay, so it's actually quite a bit later, ladies and gentlemen. I'm sorry about that. Um, we do have all of the seeds that we should need, though. So let's go ahead and head over to our awesomeness. I did go ahead and I just finished moving over all of the thorium seeds. Check it out. This is how it's looking. And I also discovered something pretty cool here, too. Um, so if you decide to use your time in a bottle on this, it also accelerates all of these guys in the area. I did not know that. So that's really cool. And I'm also waiting for all of this to fill up with seeds so we can go ahead and lock it down. So it's like, hey... In case one of these breaks or something like that, we have another one. But we're going to be throwing all of our infirmium seeds here. Yep. We'll just let this plant, and we're going to go ahead and speed this up. 
cool beans. And look at that. We are all filled up. And now these are tier six. So we do get six infirmium each time that this thing decides to go off. So yeah, we're getting a lot. These guys are all set up. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and knock all of these out pretty soon. Off camera, I will go ahead and add in all the other ones. Now these are the only two that are gonna be the full. Um, the full just one of those. So I might end up taking this out and adding in some more seeds here on each of these. Um, I will let you guys know if I do that off camera, but as you can see, we're already getting a freaking heck ton of seeds and stuff like that. I mean, just look at all that. We have th like so many, so many seeds. Okay, guys, so it is actually the next day, believe it or not, and we have made a lot of progress. Let's have a look here. Ooh, world is loading in. It's a little laggy, but we're done. We finished it. Oh my gosh, this took me so long yesterday, guys. I was I finished this while I was watching Psychotic Butcher stream over on Mixer. He was playing MC Turner's Explorer in the Twilight Forest. So the seeds we have unlocked are in here. Uh, we've got some vibrant alloy seeds somewhere in here. I think that's them right there. Uh, we have some energetic alloy seeds. That's either Signalum or the energetic alloy. We have the Signalum. Um, we have brass. We have copper. We have gold. Uh, we have a lot, so we don't have to worry about um, brass anymore, which is awesome. Each of these has their own uh, seven by seven area minus one, and it, I just think it looks pretty good. Now, this part looks good here, but I think the corners do need a little bit more detail, so we might end up just putting some marble blocks here and here just to give it a little bit more depth. I think that could go a long way, uh, but I'll do that off camera, and we'll see how it looks. If I don't like it, I'll tear it down, but I did tell you guys I would be opening some things at the end of this video, so why don't we get on to that? Um, we have a few. Uh, we're going to We're gonna open up some black market chests here with you guys. Butcher did a heck ton of stuff off camera. 95 quests completed. Are you kidding me? Oh, he went through all of these. Oh, shoot. So that's what he did. Oh, I'll have to go through that later. Uh, let's actually go over here. I believe we can collect it through here. Yeah. Yeah, we can collect all of them. I think. So we'll check that out off camera. Uh, but let's go ahead and we'll buy some black market black market um, containers. So we'll get a total of 50 of these. Yeah, that drained a lot of our money. And we're going to be right by our Emmy system because we get a lot of items. And this is how I've been getting those different seats and experience levels. Uh, so let's see here. What did we get? That's good. We got some bows. We got some red parrot eggs. We got some uh, compressor chest. Tactical Snowman, a nuke, uh, 3,000 bucks, Cube of Annihilation, a Naga in a Morb, Spellbook, Ring of Condensing, we got an Axe of a Thousand Metals, Dragon Wing, uh, we got this Flame Dragon Sword, uh, Nuclear Explosives, a Flux Sponge, another one of these, another than the Star, um, Rattelian Automation, I don't know what that is. We got a Rocket Launcher, sweet, we got an Advanced Drill, a Warp Stone, Cookie Jar, oh yeah, we got uh, an Egg. We got a miniature twilight portal. Sweet. Oh, you found a secret. Message me on Discord to unlock a special role. All right. I guess we'll see what happens. We got hippogriff egg. We got morb. Charm of keeping. Rat thing. A tribo and a rock cutter. That was pretty neat. Not our best one, but uh, definitely worth something. Yeah. So let's go ahead and we'll get rid of all this now for what everyone was expecting. The chance cubes. That's nice, but chance. Okay, so we have six of these compact giant chance cubes and some of these. Uh, let's see here. Can we make a chance cube pendant? Okay, yeah, we're going to make one. So tier one, tier two, and a tier three. So I'm Plus 50, so it should be good. Okay. Reward selector. I don't have that. 
Okay, so let's go ahead and we're gonna open these bad boys up. So hopefully they're good, but we're gonna do this far away from our base anyway. Okay, so we're a little ways from our base here. There doesn't seem to be anything all that important around here, so we should be okay. What is that? Oh, that's a meteor. Cool. I didn't even know that was there. But let's go ahead and we're gonna plop this down. Only needs to be in the player's inventory to work. Cool. So, ready? Good lord, that is awesome. So we're gonna break this guy. Oh, ha 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 ha. Whoa, whoa. Is this it? Hmm, seems pretty cool. It's just exploding things. And we're done. Okay, next one. So here we go. Pow. Another one. Hmm. Green. Another one. What the? Heck? Okay, we're getting rid of this thing. It's the exact same thing over and over again. It's like our chance thing is too high. Okay, we broke it. I heard a dragon. Okay, so it's going to make a mansion, right? Or something like that? Okay, that one's not all that cool. Is there a dragon that wants to die or something? <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead right where these chickens are. Hello, chickens. Okay, so we broke that. What you going to do about it? Oh. Oh, chicken, you better move. <laughs> there he goes. That's a dead chicken. Another redstone ore. Poor chicken, he's dead. How big is this thing going to get? I don't know. We'll come back in a second. How about the top of this tree for our last one? Okay. Oh, oh, the dome. We got the dome. This is cool. Butcher made a base in this in one of his, I think, stone block series. It was amazing. Oh, man. You know, I've never actually seen one of these in vanilla Minecraft, believe it or not. Oh, it's got some good loot. If we watch the construction of it, though, we'll know where all the secrets are. Look at that. Look at this. It's great. I don't think the loot's generated. Cool. Oh, wow, look at that guy. He thinks he's pretty cool. So the dome is done. Now it's time for the chance I saw so he come a hazen thing. We're going to do that right here. Oh, 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 oh man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Here we go. It's a kiwi wither. Oh, shoot. Okay, so we're going to kill this guy. This is fun. Oh. Hello, kiwi. Okay. Do one more. 
I don't know where Kiwi went. What is this? Oh, it's the Pixie Homes. That's cool. Okay, here we go. Here we go, here we go. I don't want to get too close. Oh, diamond helmet. The Divine Helmet. Protection 10. Aqua Affinity X. Check this out. Check this out. We should be able to repair this. Um, uh, anvil. Repair anything with energy. Should be able to repair it, I think. Yes! Yes, it works! <laughs> Check that out! Let's go! That is sick! Um, can we pull the... Do we have a just disenchanter? Mm, I don't think we can. That sucks. Oh, well. If you guys know a way to disenchant it, let me know down in the comment section. But we have the Divine Helmet with full durability. So anyways, guys, that's going to wrap up the episode for today. If you did enjoy, please make sure to hit that like button. And remember, next episode, we are getting into mechanisms so we can have creative flight to get rid of this stupid jetpack and these boots so that we can just fly around again. Anyways, guys, I'll see you next one. Take care. Peace out. Bye-bye.